As regular viewers to this channel will know, I'm a big fan of the logical editor in Cubase. I've done a series on it, which is linked in the description, but that was for the earlier version. Cubase 12's logical editor saw a bit of a revamp with a few extra features and some new appearance, but it does currently, at the time of producing this video, have a bit of an issue which might make things a little bit confusing if you're just getting started with a logical editor. So if you are, take a look at this video. Hopefully it will get you through that and get you using it in the way you should be. So here we are in Cubase, and as you can see, I've got some MIDI here. We're just gonna take a quick look at that in the list editor, and you can see Opening that up, it's a standard imported MIDI file. It's got all the normal preamble you'd expect where it sets volume, pan, etc. And in this case, program change. The confusion that seems to happen here is that the logical editor isn't showing exactly what's in a preset. So if you load up a preset, it doesn't show that the action has changed, even though it may have changed. So I'll demonstrate that now. So if we load up logical editor and go to setup rather than applying preset we're just going to click setup and you can see at the moment i'm in add sub bass to chords and it says events matching filter condition blah 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 insert so this is going to insert something now if we load up the preset we want so we click here we use the search which is quite nice so we find the ones with program change in i'm just going to go for factory presets delete delete program change click that there the thing that's confusing is it says that events matching the filter condition are going to be inserted because that's the what was there when this was opened up. So we will see that isn't actually the case. It's not going to insert them. It's going to delete them because if I click apply and then we go back to that part in the list editor, you'll see that the program change has gone. So that's no longer there. It's long gone. Right. So that is slightly unfortunate. Now, if you go back to the logical editor, so again, we're going to go to logical editor setup, you see that it shows delete. So it shows it correctly once you close and reopen it. But if we open up something else, so let's open up another preset. Let's go back to the sub base one. You see it's saying delete, even though it's actually an insert one, as we've seen. And if we close this window, and then reopen it. You'll see it appears correctly there. So this is the problem is that it's actual state when you load up a preset isn't uh, responding. The the main change with this really, the, the functionality of this hasn't changed that much. There's some extra functions, etc. available. But the, the main change for most people is going to be that the way that you load up presets has changed significantly. So you can browse them. They make a bit more sense, but there's many more of them. So searching is probably the thing you're going to want to do rather than trying to browse through them all the way. But you can see all the ones with delete sensibly are in the right place, etc. Whereas previously, these are the earlier presets. They were added for version three, etc. They were a real mess and you never really knew where they were. The new factory presets are much more sensible, but... As ever, I'd encourage you to watch the series I have on the Logical Editor because apart from the appearance change and the addition of some extras, which I will be covering in a future video, this is still the Logical Editor that, that well, some of us know and, and some of us love, but maybe some of us don't. But that's the main issue at the moment. Just if you're confused, close the Logical Editor once you've set it and reopen it, and then hopefully it will reflect what you actually want. If it doesn't, you can always change it. So for instance, if we load up uh, the delete program changes here, just change it to delete and then you're super sure. Most of the time you want it on transform, but we can do that. And in fact, let's do type is equal to control change. We can see it's type is equal to controller and delete and we're going to apply that. And then when we go back to the part here in the list editor, we'll see it's got rid of all those control changes as well, which often you would want depending on what instrument you're going to be playing it on and how much editing, etc. you're going to be doing. 
So there you go, a workaround for the Cubase Logical Editor's current issue where it's misleading you about what it's about to do to your MIDI data. There are going to be a couple of videos upcoming on the channel on the new features which the Logical Editor gained in Cubase 12. So it's not just about its appearance, it has actually got some new function as well. But if you haven't watched the other four videos which are on the channel elsewhere and linked in the description about the Logical Editor, then they will get you up to speed because it's certainly a really useful tool. As ever, hope you found this video useful, and if you have, please like and subscribe, etc. And we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.